Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out Podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today we're going to discuss the flow sensor K factor. Every VAV box manufacturer provides you with their flow sensor's K factor, but what is the K factor exactly? The K factor is the CFM that will produce a one inch sensor signal with that flow sensor at the pressure transducer. This CFM is different for different sensor designs and different sizes. So for the controls on the VAV box to calculate what the airflow going through the box is, it needs to know what the K factor of the box is. These K factors are entered when the box controls are programmed. So let me make a little room here. So let's draw an inlet with a sensor in it here and have the piping go over to the controls with a pressure transducer in it. Now in the sizing VAV box podcast, I mentioned that the pressure transducer on the VAV box controller needs a minimum of about 0.03 inches of differential pressure to register a reading. When manufacturers design airflow sensors, we want to make the amplification of the sensor high so that a lower CFM will still meet the 0.03 inches of pressure requirement. This is basically done by creating a depressed static pressure reading on the sensor. So remember that the total pressure is the static pressure plus the velocity pressure. A flow sensor is taking a total pressure reading on the front of the sensor where it sees both velocity and static pressure. And then on the back side where there's no velocity and therefore no velocity pressure, it is taking a static pressure reading. So now if you know the total pressure and the static pressure, you can calculate velocity pressure, which you use to calculate velocity, which you use to calculate CFM. But if you can design the flow sensor so that the static pressure reading is actually reduced, this means that the difference between the two readings isn't just total pressure minus static pressure equals velocity pressure, but something actually greater than velocity pressure. The difference has been amplified. When we say that the flow sensor has good amplification, this is what we're talking about. The K factor is the constant for each sensor size that corrects for the amplification so that the controller can calculate CFM from this amplified signal. Let's look at how this works and why it's a good thing. Let's say you have an 8 inch ESV. Let's calculate the lowest CFM the pressure transducer can read from a non-amplified signal and from an amplified one. First the non-amplified signal. We know that the pressure transducer wants 0.03 inches, so let's convert that to a velocity. Velocity is equal to 4,005 times the square root of the velocity pressure. So that's 4,005 times the square root of 0.03, and that equals 693 feet per minute. And if we convert that to CFM, CFM equals velocity times area. So that's 693 times the area of the 8 inch ESV divided by 144 to get it into feet. And that's 693 times 0.349 is 242 CFM. Now let's look at the amplified signal. To calculate the amplified signal, you just need to know the K factor and the pressure differential. For an 8 inch arrow cross flow sensor, the K factor is 904. So the CFM equals the K factor times the square root of the delta P, which is 904 times the square root of the 0.03, and that comes to 157 CFM. So without the amplified signal, you could read down to 242 CFM versus 157 CFM for the amplified signal. So we're often asked how low our VAV boxes can go, but the answer depends on a couple things. It depends on the VAV box flow sensor and its amplification and the control pressure transducer and how low it can read. So these two things determine the minimum controllable CFM of any given VAV box. So that's the K factor and how it's used. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for taking a time out with us.